If you have lower back pain that won't go away, the problem could be a small but important ligament called the iliolumbar ligament. Ignoring it can lead to chronic pain, instability, and even misdiagnosed conditions. Let's break it down and discuss what you can do about it. Hello, this is Dr. Siddharth Amber from Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine. I specialize in non-surgical treatments for musculoskeletal conditions, including rheumatology, regenerative medicine, and metabolic health. My goal is to help you live pain-free and optimize your health with cutting-edge treatments. Lower back pain is one of the most common complaints I see in my practice. Many people assume it's due to a disc problem, arthritis, or muscle strain, but sometimes the real issue is a small but powerful ligament that stabilizes your lower back, called the iliolumbar ligament. In this video, we'll cover what the iliolumbar ligament is and why it matters, how it causes lower back pain, common signs of iliolumbar ligament strains and injuries, how to diagnose and treat this overlooked cause of back pain, and if you've been struggling with lower back pain and haven't found answers, this information could be a game changer for you. So what is the iliolumbar ligament? The iliolumbar ligament is a strong band of connective tissue that connects the lowest part of your lumbar spine, the L5 vertebra, to your pelvis, the iliac crest. Think of it as an anchor that stabilizes your lower back and pelvis when you move. It plays a critical role in preventing excessive motion in your lower spine, which is why injuries to this ligament can lead to chronic instability and pain. When the iliolumbar ligament is strained or injured, it loses its ability to stabilize the lower spine. This can happen due to a number of different reasons. Repetitive stress, long hours of sitting, heavy lifting, or sports that involve twisting, such as golf or tennis, can lead to strains of the iliolumbar ligament. Direct trauma can also be included here. Falls, car accidents, or sudden jerking movements can strain the iliolumbar ligament. Age-related weakening. Over time, ligaments can weaken due to wear and tear. Hypermobility. People with overly flexible joints may be more prone to iliolumbar ligament injuries as well. When this ligament becomes overstretched or damaged, it can lead to a number of different things. You can experience deep, aching pain on one side of the lower back near the top of the pelvis. It can also feel like pain that worsens with movement like bending, twisting, or prolonged sitting. Referred pain can also occur into the hip, the groin, or even down the leg, mimicking sciatica. A feeling of instability in the lower back, like it's giving out on you. Eventually, chronic instability in this ligament can lead to more degenerative changes in the lower back, including facetuan arthritis and compression of the nerves that come from the lumbar spine as well. The tricky part is that iliolumbar ligament injuries are often misdiagnosed. Many patients get x-rays or MRIs that show normal discs and joints, leaving them without clear answers. A proper diagnosis involves a few different things. A good clinical examination. Pressing on the iliolumbar ligament can reproduce the pain classically. Movement testing, assessing how your lower back and pelvis move together. Sometimes a diagnostic injection can be helpful as well where you inject a small amount of anesthetic near the ligament to see if it actually relieves the pain. And frankly, your clinician or your physician should just understand the normal progression of back injuries and the structures that are classically injured. The good news, you don't need surgery to treat iliolumbar ligament injuries. Here's how we approach treatment. First off, lifestyle modifications and activity adjustments. Avoid prolonged sitting, take breaks every 30 to 60 minutes. Use proper lifting techniques to reduce strain on your lower back. Strengthen your core to improve spinal stability. In that regard, physical therapy and targeted exercises can be very helpful. Strengthening the surrounding muscles can take pressure off the ligaments. Effective exercises include the following. Pelvic tilts to stabilize the lower spine. Glute bridges to strengthen hip muscles. Planks and side planks to build core stability. If conservative treatments are not enough, Regenerative medicine treatments offer profound and powerful options. Prolotherapy is where we utilize a series of dextrose injections that stimulate healing and strengthen the ligament. Platelet-rich plasma, or PRP, uses your own growth factors 
to repair ligament damage and improve function. These treatments encourage natural healing and help to restore your ligament strength and function without the risk of steroid injections or surgery. There are a number of common misperceptions when it comes to injuries to the iliolumbar ligament. To begin with, if my MRI is normal, I've heard patients say, my back pain must not be serious. That's not correct. Many soft tissue injuries, including ligament damage, do not actually show up on MRIs. A normal scan does not mean there is not a real issue. Next, I'll hear patients say that they just need to stretch more. The reality is that stretching is helpful to maintain your range of motion, but overstretching, if a ligament is injured, can actually worsen instability. Instead, you need to focus on strengthening exercises to improve support. Sometimes I'll hear patients say that a steroid injection will fix the problem. The reality is that steroids may reduce pain temporarily, but they can weaken ligaments over time, making the problem worse. If you've been dealing with stubborn lower back pain, do not overlook the iliolumbar ligament. It's a key stabilizer of your spine, and when injured, it can cause pain, instability, and misdiagnosed conditions. The good news, you do not need surgery to fix it. By focusing on appropriate lifestyle changes, physical therapy, and regenerative medicine treatments, such as prolotherapy and platelet-rich plasma, you can heal the ligament and get lasting relief. If you found this helpful, please make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our website at chicagoarthritis.com for more expert advice on staying pain-free and healthy. If you're struggling with chronic lower back pain, give us a call. We'd love to see if we can help you out. Until next time, have a good day and live well.